Hello! Welcome to an overview of South Dakota's very first diverging diamond interchange. Located in Rapid City on La Crosse Street and Interstate 90, this interchange is surrounded by car-oriented commercial development, and it attracts a higher amount of vehicle traffic than the old diamond interchange could handle. In this video, we will first go through all the possible traffic movements through this interchange, as well as explain the safety and traffic flow benefits of the interchange. While the finish date is still a month out at the time of posting this video, the interchange was switched to the DDI traffic flow on April 27, 2023. It is running with only half of its lanes opened and finished. So let's get started. Because I am a loser with nothing better to do with my time, these videos were all recorded during the 5 p.m. rush hour on a Friday. This will highlight the efficiency of the interchange while still under construction. These clips will be in order of the most driven routes to the least, according to a 2012 traffic survey conducted by the South Dakota Department of Transportation. According to that survey, most of the traffic on the cross is northbound traffic going from Aylin Street, Rushmore Crossing and Walmart, northbound towards the Rushmore Mall and the Interstate as well as all the restaurants and hotels. As we approach for the first time to cross over the Interstate, we have green lights. Notice how the lights are arrows pointing forward. This is because this is the only allowed movement at that point of the intersection. No turning left or right. As we cross over to Interstate 90, we are now on the left side of La Crosse Street. We will proceed across through the next side of the interchange with more green arrows. And now we will proceed down La Crosse northbound like normal. The next most common direction you all drive is southbound on La Crosse from Dis Drive, the Mall, towards Eglin, Rushmore Crossing, and Walmart. This time, as we approach the intersection, we have a red arrow. We have to wait for the northbound traffic to finish crossing before we can proceed through the intersection to the left side of La Crosse Street Bridge. As the arrows turn green, we now proceed through the intersection to the left-hand side of the La Crosse Street Bridge. Traffic from the westbound Interstate 90 off-ramp is already proceeding through the intersection on the other side. With southbound only having 60% of the vehicle flow as northbound, the red cycle for southbound is a tad longer. This allows the heavier vehicle flow to pass through the intersection on the northbound side. With the green arrow, we will now proceed southbound on the cross street as normal. Next is eastbound I-90, turning southbound onto the cross towards Eglin, Rushmore Crossing, and Walmart. The only change to this movement is the addition of a right turn arrow. You then proceed southbound on La Crosse as normal. Next is northbound La Crosse Street onto westbound I-90. As before, we will proceed through the intersection to the left-hand side of the La Crosse Street Bridge. A very large amount of the traffic on the cross street turns westbound onto I-90. This is one of the biggest advantages of diverging diamonds, which allows a free left-hand turn onto the interstate. No waiting. We then proceed onto Interstate 90 like normal. Now we are going eastbound I-90 to northbound La Crosse Street. You will see the addition of more turn lanes and longer turn lanes than existed before on the old diamond interchange.
Now we have a red signal as the northbound lacrosse street traffic crosses in front of us onto the left hand side of the bridge. With the green signal, we now proceed, as we did before, through the intersection, northbound on the cross street. And now, westbound I-90, southbound on the cross. The route that the folks from the Valley and Box Elder would take if they were going towards Rushmore Crossing or Walmart on the cross street. We already have a green signal and can proceed onto the left hand side of the bridge. We now cross through the intersection and proceed southbound on the cross like normal. northbound on the cross to eastbound Interstate 90. Very little has changed about this particular transaction other than the addition of a yield sign on the slip lane. Westbound I-90 to northbound La Crosse. This is another one with very few changes other than the addition of a right turn arrow. Southbound La Crosse onto westbound Interstate 90. This is another one with very little changes other than the addition of a yield sign in the slip lane. We then proceed onto I-90 as normal. And now the least common traffic movement is traffic heading southbound on the cross and heading eastbound on Interstate 90. Much like westbound, this benefits from the free left-hand turn onto the interstate. You simply turn left and proceed onto Interstate 90 as normal. Now that we've gone through all 10 movements of the Divergent Diamond on the cross street, let's talk about safety. Shown is all the conflict points in a traditional diamond interchange, which is what Lacrosse Street was before its conversion. You will see that there are 10 crossing and 8 merging conflict points. Crossing conflict points are substantially worse accidents than merging conflict points. These usually involve full-on T-bones or head-on collisions. Now let's look at the conflict points on a diverging diamond. You will notice there are only 2 crossing conflict points. And now side by side, you can see how substantial the improvement in safety features are with the Divergent Diamond. Not only are the Divergent Diamonds substantially more efficient, they are also substantially safer to drive on too. I hope this video will ease your fears about driving on the new Divergent Diamond on La Crosse Street. This is the first interchange of its type in South Dakota. However, hundreds of them have been built throughout the United States, and all of them have seen substantial improvements in both safety and traffic flow. Thanks for watching.